friends welcome to my channel in this video series i am going to discuss some challenging problems of mathematics for the students who are preparing for je and da and other engineering entrance exams my aim to make this series is to augment the chances of right students seeking admission to iits or preparing for nda and other competitive exams i request you to watch this video till end to boost up your rank in je nda and other competitive exams so let us start question number 1 the lines x is equal to ay plus b z is equals to cy plus d and x is equals to a dash y plus b dash z is equals to c dash y plus d dash are perpendicular then these are the options one of these options is the correct option so let us start how to do from this we can see that y is common in these two so we'll solve it for y y will be equal to x minus b upon a so x minus b upon a is equals to y and from this y will be z minus d upon c so we can write the equation for this line as x minus b upon a is equals to y upon 1 and is equals to z minus d upon c similarly for this line we can write x minus b dash upon a dash is equals to y upon 1 and this will be equal to z minus d upon c dash so z minus d dash upon c dash now direction ratios for these two lines are a 1 c and for second line this is a dash 1 and c dash so we can say that a a dash plus 1 plus c c dash is equal to 0 this gives a a dash plus c c dash is equals to minus 1 this is our option number c now let us see one more question number 2 in an ellipse the distance between the foci is 8 and the distance between directrices is 10 the angle alpha at the latest rectum subtends at the center is now it is given that distance between the focus is 8 so we can write 2 ae distance between focus this is 8 and distance between directrices is 10 so 2a upon e is equals to 10 If we multiply these two equations, we will get 2a e multiplied by 2a upon e is equals to 80. So this e and e will go, and we will get 4a square is equals to 80, or a square is equals to 20, or we can say that a will be 2 under root 5. This will give me a e is equals to 4, and this will give me e is equals to 4 upon 2 under root 5 and this will be 2 upon root 5 now let us consider the right triangle suppose these two are latus rectums this is l1 this is l2 and this is o now this angle is alpha by 2 now in this right angle triangle this distance is ae that is 4 and this distance is e 2 upon root 5 so we can say that tan alpha by 2 is equals to 2 upon root 5 and this is 4 so 4 this will give me 1 upon 2 under root 5 and we know that tan alpha is equals to 2 times tan alpha by 2 divided by 1 minus tan square alpha by 2 So two times tan alpha by two is one upon root five, and this is one minus one upon twenty. 
so this will give me 4 under root 5 upon 19 now our options this is cos inverse this is cos inverse this is also cos inverse and this tan inverse is not matching with our answer so let us convert this into cos inverse from this triangle cos alpha will be if we consider the right angle triangle like this and this distance is 19 and this is alpha so this opposite side is 4 root 5 this one is 19 and this will be under root of 19 square plus 4 root 5 square this gives me 361 and this will be 80 so this will be square root of 441 so cos alpha will be 19 divided by 21 and cos inverse 19 upon 21 will be our alpha the required angle let us see one more question number three If 2a plus 3b plus 6c is equals to 0 and abc belongs to r, then the equation ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 has a root in interval 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and none of these. Friends, this is a challenging problem. You can see that the equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This question is based on Rolle's theorem. Let us consider our function fx is equals to a upon 3 x cube plus b upon 2 x square plus c x. I choose this function because if we differentiate this function f dash x will be same as this one. f dash x is equals to this is a upon 3 differentiation of x cube will be 3 x square plus Next is b upon 2. This is b upon 2. Differentiation of x square will be 2x. Then next is cx and differentiation of cx will be c. Now this 3 and this 3 will go. This 2 and this 2 will go. And I will be left with the equation x, ax square plus bx plus c. And this is given to be 0. So f dash x is equals to 0. Now f of 0 will be if I put 0 in place of x, this will be 0. Similarly, f of 1 will be, if I put 1 in place of x, this will be a upon 3 plus b upon 2 plus c. And if I multiply this equation by 6, I will get 2a plus 3b plus 6c. And this is given to be 0. So, f of 0 is equals to 0 and f of 1 is equals to 0 and f dash x is given here ax square plus bx plus c this is also 0. Therefore by Rolle's theorem we can say that the function will have a root in the interval 0 to 1 or ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 has a root in this interval. Now let us see one more. Question number 4. If three distinct numbers are chosen randomly from the first 100 natural numbers, then the probability that all the three of them are divisible by both 2 and 3 is. Now let us see how to do this question. We have to select three distinct numbers from first 100 natural numbers and the numbers should be divisible by both 2 and 3. So the numbers are to be selected from the set. The first number that is divisible by both 2 and 3 is 6. Second is 12, then 18, like this it will go on till 96. Now let us see how many numbers are there. So this number is a n, a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 d. This is a formula for AP as we can see that all these numbers are in AP. So a n, this is 96 is equal to a, first number, this is 6, 
plus n minus 1 we don't know into d d is the common difference that is 12 minus 6 this is 6 so if we divide this whole equation by 6 i'll get 16 here this will be 1 plus n minus 1 so this 1 and 1 will go and n will come out to be 16 so these are 16 numbers required probability will be Variable cases so out of 16 cases I have to choose 3 and total number of cases are 100 out of 100 I have to choose 3 so this will give me 16 multiplied by 15 multiplied by 14 3 numbers here also 3 numbers so 100 into 99 into 98 this will go by 5 I will get 3 here this will be 20 this 3 and this will go I will get 33 here this 4 fours are 16, 4 fives are 20 and this 14 will go 7 times. So 7 here in numerator I am having 4 in denominator this is 35 multiplied by 33 and this will give me 4 divided by 1155. That's all in this video series. If you like this video series, give this video a like, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Your likes will motivate me to upload more such videos. Thank you for watching.